everyone, welcome to another design lesson video. In each video, I'm going to review some key design principles that you should keep in mind when you're thinking about renovating or decorating your space. So if you have a design dilemma and need some answers, feel free to comment in the section below with your questions, or you can tweet me your questions on Twitter at Design Chicky. Your dilemma could become one of these design lesson videos right here. In the meantime, let's get to today's topic. Today, I'm going to talk about some unique ways to introduce art into your home. Most people hang art above their sofa or over their fireplace and maybe up the stairs. But sometimes you have to think outside of the box. There are some other places you might want to consider. Let's dive into these five unique ways to add art to your home. Okay, the bathroom might not be so unique for artwork. Lots of people add some kind of art on the wall above the toilet, but I'm talking about something a little bit more special. How about a feature wall with a beautiful mural? This entire vignette is beautiful. It showcases the already beautiful freestanding tub and the wallpaper behind it takes it one step further. That's what art does. You can do the same sort of thing with tile. Bathroom tiles have come a long way and this tiled wall shows us what a little creativity can do with everyday bathroom materials. Who needs frames when you can create art with your tiles? And if you don't want to use tile for art, you can always lean some frames along a ledge or the floor and layer them up with a large mirror, which is also framed just like a piece of art itself. So look for areas in the bathroom that you wouldn't expect art to live. Think of the materials you use in the bathroom and make them stand out just like a beautiful painting. You read that right. The ceiling is a forgotten canvas. Think about it, it's usually white and left blank. It's just waiting for some attention. I love this idea, a mural of a very famous painting. That's what I call a dramatic bathroom. Boy, you need guts to do this, but it looks amazing in the end. And your guests will be so impressed with you. Now, you don't have to be so literal when it comes to art on your ceiling. It could be just a great color like this. A dark ceiling doesn't always make the room dark. This room is bright and vivid, and the color on the ceiling is definitely worth talking about. A hot pink ceiling for a library would definitely be a surprise to anyone walking into the room. Just adding a great color to your ceiling can be the same as adding artwork to a wall. It adds a burst of unexpected color and it becomes a conversation starter. So don't forget the giant blank canvas overhead. Okay, this one's not so unusual. Art in bedrooms happens a lot. It maybe happens over top of the headboard. But I want you to think about your nightstand area instead. This is a great spot for something unexpected and in some cases you'll have two nightstands which means double the fun. Let's take a look at some examples. How about this small grouping of frames just above the nightstand? You wouldn't expect a gallery wall in this spot but you could put your closest friends and family in them for happy thoughts before bed or things that make you excited about getting up in the morning. Or maybe you'd rather go bigger and bolder like this example. Notice the size and scale of these pieces and how they create symmetry and drama on either side of the bed. Tall pieces that stretch up to the ceiling instead of three small pieces above the bed. Oh, and the nightstands are pretty fantastic as well, don't you think? Here's another great example of artwork above the nightstand. Most might feel that the fabric canopy might be enough of a showstopper, but I love how this piece of art fills the rest of the space on the wall. In fact, I love how all the pieces overlap each other and all the other walls have artwork on them too. It's like beauty on top of beauty on top of beauty. Dark walls really make all of these items stand out, so don't be afraid to overdo it. More is more. The kitchen is always full of purposeful cabinets and functional surfaces, so artwork isn't always the first thing on the priority list. But I love the idea of introducing something small and strategically placed. I love how this little image is simple but graphic and how it's placed just off center from the faucet. You might think this is a mistake, but giving this little frame all that white space around it makes the piece a little more intriguing. I'm a huge fan of art ledges and having artwork just lean on walls. So in this case, artwork replaces the upper cabinets. Notice the ledge? Large graphic prints make a big splash in this kitchen. The high ceilings makes for a dramatic gallery wall and the colors of the artwork are reflected in the chairs at the table. Pretty cool. So if you can forego upper cabinets, why not consider the walls a place for art? Lots of art, big pieces of art. And with a ledge, you don't even need a hammer. 
Did I mention I love ledges? Well, this is the most fantastic art ledge I've ever seen. It's located in a hallway, and even though gallery walls are quite common in this sort of space, I love the idea that artwork isn't always hung on the wall. This ledge, or platform, is a great way to mix both three-dimensional and two-dimensional art. Sculptures, plants, accessories, and framed art are all curated together. If this were in my home, I'd probably move things around on a weekly basis. It's a great way to display a variety of beautiful and cherished items. And speaking of a gallery-type setting, this is still one of my favorite techniques for a small space. Fill every inch of wall space with art. This is actually a great idea if you have bulkheads too. Those pesky drywall boxes just disappear with all the surrounding images. So there you have it. Those are some of my favorite unexpected and interesting ways to add artwork to your home. Art should catch your attention, but sometimes placement goes a long way. You know the old saying, location, location, location. Or how about, if you build it, they will come. All of this to say, if you place art where you least expect it, that in itself is art. Thanks for watching my latest design lesson video. If you like the video, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter as well, and if you have any design questions, let me know, and it could be the topic of our next video. Plus, if you have any ideas to add to our list today, let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear how you display your most cherished pieces of art. Again, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next time.